Hey team, Justin with Managed by Stats. In this video, we're going to be covering the statistics section in the Profits tab. All right, so the statistics tab covers Amazon statements and it breaks it down and you can filter it however you want. But overall, what you have is your brands here, your orders, your refunds. This section includes all of the other fees that are included with doing business on Amazon. This also includes some columns that we've added in there so that you can add your own expenses, such as product cost or additional expenses. And additional expenses is literally just that. Anything that is additional, you could put in Facebook marketing or perhaps a customs fee that you didn't know you were going to get. So you can filter this data any way you want. You can go by brand, product line, product name, ASIN, or SKU. So product line, just so you know, is something that we've added so that you can take any series of products and group them together under a single name. So that could be something like shampoos or dog toys or anything of that sort. Now we always recommend that you go by statement, and this is Amazon statements, by the way. But you can, if you need to, go by weekly, monthly, yearly, or even put in custom dates. If you're filtered by statement, you'll see over here that it's based on a settlement ID. But if you change that, it gives you the date range rather than the settlement ID because it's no longer by statement. Now, just so you're oriented with the mathematics of this, each column adds up to the total row down here. And everything in the total row is either added or if it's read subtracted over to this total over here, your Amazon payout. And from your Amazon payout, there are additional fees from Amazon that lead to this total down here. Now, if you click on this expand button, You'll find a whole bunch of fees that are not broken down in Seller Central that we're able to pull out and put on here for you so you can see specifically what you're being charged for. So let's go ahead and collapse that now. From the right of the Amazon payout column are all of your expenses that are outside of Amazon and some other information. So for instance, your cost. These are costs that you entered into Managed by Stats because Amazon does not have that data. Your inbound approximate, your additional expenses. Now additional expenses are literally just that, any additional expense that is not included on Amazon that you want to add manually into Managed by Stats to count towards your profit. And then you have other columns like your ads, sales tax, and ACOTS is advertising cost of total sales. Basically it's your total ad spend divided by your total sales. To give you an example of this, if you sold $100 of product and you spent $1 on advertising, your ACOTS is 1%. And then we've got approximated profit. Now keep in mind, profit's always going to be approximated, especially if you're using custom filters. Well, that wraps up the statistics section. In the next section, we're gonna be covering additional expenses. Now, if I've not covered something that you need help with or you find that you're having any problem, don't forget that our support team is there for you and you can get to them by clicking on the question mark and clicking email support. With that, we're done with this video. See you in the next one.